Samyang just released a new firmware for the 2470 F2 payday and it brings an exciting new feature. So in this video, we're going to look into what the feature is and I will show you how to update. We plan to film this outside, but unfortunately, I tested positive for COVID. Ew. Personally, I always found the Samyang 2470 f2.8 to be a perfect hybrid lens for hybrid cameras like the Sony a7 III. It's good for photography and it has lots of features for videographers as well. It is powerful, although it's only software based. It has almost no focus breathing and the only thing I wish for as a videographer to have linear focusing. And the good news is that Samyang is a brand that cares about its customers and fulfilled my wish as they introduced these options in the latest firmware. But first, what's the difference between linear and non-linear focusing? Well, back in the old days with the manual focusing lenses, you had the focusing ring mechanically coupled with the focusing mechanism, which was technically just a helicoid moving the elements back and forward. Certain amount of turn always move the focusing plane with the same amount. So this is the linear focusing method. It usually had hard stops at each end and the advantage was mainly for videographers that they could do A to B pulls very easily. Hence many of the videography lenses even today are sacrificing autofocus just to have this manual coupled focusing. With newer autofocus lenses, a new method focus by wire was introduced where the turning of the focusing ring will only tell the focusing motor to move the lens, so technically it only affects the focusing indirectly. The advantage of this is that you can have non-linear focusing which allows photographers to have a very precise or very quick manual focus at the same time, depending on how fast you turn the autofocusing ring. So you might ask which one is better? And the answer is entirely up to you and your use case scenario. Usually videographers prefer the repeatability of linear focusing and photographers prefer the versatility of nonlinear focusing. So there's no clear winner here. Both have their advantages and disadvantages. And Samyang is very clear that the 2470 f2.8 is designed with videographers in mind. But at the same time, photographers will be very pleased with this lens too. If you haven't yet, then watch a review of this lens and links in the description. So let's see what's new in the version 2 firmware. Well, there is first a fix for A7S II users, which improves the autofocus performance of the lens, but we don't have this camera, so I can't really comment on. But if you have an A7S II, please leave us a comment below. Let us know what's your experience. The key feature of this update is that it brings the linear focusing option, which you can program on the custom switch of the lens. To update the firmware, unfortunately you will need a Samyang lens station, which you will also need to change the custom switch functionality. I highly recommend grabbing one as uh, the lens station is not only used for firmware updates, but you can also customize your Samyang lenses with it. And to be honest, Samyang lately introduced the custom switch to all of its lenses, so it can come very handy, even if you have only one lens from Samyang as of now. To update your lens, just simply connect the lens station to your computer via a USB cable and attach it to the lens just the same way you would pop the camera on it. So align the white dots and turn the lens until it clicks in. On your computer, fire up the Samyang lens manager and make sure it's version at least 2.66. Under the lens connection tab, make sure the COM port is set to the right one and then just press lens con. Once the lens is connected, the green LED on the top of the lens station will light up and you're ready to go. In the lens manager, choose firmware update where you will be presented with a download link which will lead you to the Samyang's website, unfortunately the Korean one. But don't worry, if you scroll down you will just find everything that's important in English. So find the AF2470 f2.8 and download the latest firmware. Once you have it, just unzip the hex file and place it in a folder where you can find it easily. I usually just drop it on my desktop where it's the easiest to find. Back in the Samyang Lens Manager, load the firmware and click update. Now I wish I could say that's it, you're done. 
but on rare occasions the updates does not finish so temporarily renders your lens unusable. If this happens, do not worry, all you have to do is reconnect the lens, press connect, and even if it says you could not connect but the lens station's LED is lit up, just go on the firmware update tab, load the firmware again and press update again. It happened to me quite a few times on my old computer but not on my new one or the Surface Pro I have. So don't panic, don't send your lens for repairs, just keep trying until it succeeds. Once the update finished, just connect the lens again with the lens manager and go to the custom switch tab, which will only be visible when you connect a lens with a custom switch. Here you will find two new options, L Cinema Null Focus and R Cinema Null Focus under the Mode 1 selection. The difference between the two is the direction of focusing, with Al Cine turning the focusing ring clockwise, we will move the focusing plane closer, while in R Cine it will move further. So if you are using other Cine lenses, you can customize the lens to behave the same way as your other ones. But why is linear focusing such a big deal? Well, to be honest, this feature is important for videographers mainly as you can repeat focus pulls between two points easily. Like here I am focusing from the clock to Alice's face with ease. And if we need to re-record for some reason, we can create the exact same focus pull again and again and again. But also you can use this if you want to preset the focus for something. Like in this video, we wanted to have the box in focus first and then move the focus where the lens will be so it is in focus when Alice puts the lens down. This would be nearly impossible with a non-linear lens and it's a child play with a linear one. All you need is a masking tape and a pencil, or you can just use a focus pull system like this Neva one I use. So you can see this upgrade brings a very important feature to the lens, making it even more versatile, although there are some limitations. The first one is that the focusing speed is limited by the speed of the focusing motor, so when you turn the focusing ring quickly, the focus can lag a little bit behind. Also, as the powerful feature is offer based as well, it overrides the focusing ring, so at the moment you consume and focus at the same time. Hopefully, this can be fixed in a later firmware. Another limitation comes from how it is implemented. As it takes up mode 1 on the custom switch, you are left with only one more option for mode 2. Also, as a focusing ring by default pulls focus when turned clockwise, if you set the mode 1 to R Cine and then change mode 2 and manual focus, then focusing ring pulls focus differently in mode 1 and mode 2. And also, it does linear focusing in mode 1 and non linear focusing in mode 2. Bit confusing. I prefer to be able to set the manual focus behavior differently under the manual focus setting, where I could just set the lens to have R Cine. Arsene or normal non-linear focusing when I change the lens to manual focus either by the custom switch on the lens or in the camera. But apart from these tiny quirks, to me it's a huge upgrade to an already great lens and it just shows something is constantly evolving the user experience of their lens. And I hope this feature will find its way to all the lenses that has been released lately, the amazing 13518 or the recently released updates the 35mm and the 50mm f1.4 Mark IIs and it will be hopefully built in in all the future lenses too. So that's it for today's video. Please don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one.